Hi everyone, in this video we'll be making a grinder stand. I need a dedicated station for tungsten grinding. We'll be using an old brake drum, this 3 inch square tubing, a piece of 3 8 plate that I found on eBay, already cut into a circle, it was about $20 delivered. I've had this sitting around for a couple years now. And we'll use some quarter inch plate to mount the grinder to. Let's get started. The brake drum has a small lip just outside the diameter of that 3 8 inch plate I have. And with some careful measurements, I was able to kind of guess where that first hole should be drilled. Then once I had that first hole drilled, I was able to bolt the plate to the brake drum and then mark the location of the rest of the holes to be drilled. I had a transfer punch sitting in the toolbox from a previous project, so it made it super easy to find where I needed to drill my next holes. I used a 5 8 inch drill bit to drill the holes in this 3 8 inch plate. The drill press sure did make it easy, but if all you had was a simple hand drill, you could probably get this done. It would just take you a bit longer. I set up my grinder on the workbench and put some blocks of wood underneath it to figure out the exact height that was comfortable for me. And then I subtracted the thickness of the two plates and the height of the brake drum to figure out the length I needed to cut my 3x3 tubing to. Okay, I think we have everything squared up. This 3x3 three three tubing is a remnant I picked up at the metal yard. I'm not sure what gauge the metal is, but it's less than an eighth of an inch. I had my welder set up for a much thicker material and I ended up blowing a hole right through in one spot. So I had to go back in and turn the welder down and fix that hole. Once I had the hole fixed, then I finished welding the tubing to the 3 8 inch plate. Here's our quarter inch plate that we'll mount the grinder to. We need to drill two holes in it before we weld it onto the stand. This quarter inch plate is another remnant I picked up at the metal yard, but you can find many different sizes on eBay if you just want to have it shipped directly to your house. You might pay a little more, but it's much more convenient. Next, I drilled two 3 8 inch holes in that quarter inch plate. That will allow us to bolt the grinder down to that plate. Here I'm placing a few magnetized spacers on the face of my welding table. After clamping that quarter inch plate to the table, I made sure it was square to the tubing. Okay. 
Next, I made sure that all four corners of the tubing had solid tacks before I made any longer welds. I'm still learning how to weld and do welding projects mostly for fun, but I'm slowly getting better. It took about two weeks to get these parts back from my powder coater. I was so excited to get the parts back, I couldn't wait to put it together. I used some nylock nuts on these bolts so that they didn't vibrate loose. I'm really happy with how my grinder stand turned out. The initial build only took me about an hour and overall it was a pretty simple and fun welding project. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and thanks for watching.